Morning guys, Ryan over at Magnum Sports. And today we're doing part two of our pistol shooting exercises. Uh, the very first video that we covered with you all was on our grip and how to establish a good grip. Our second video, the video we'll be covering today is on our trigger control. And then our next video, um, just so you kind of have a syllabus of where this is going, will be on our recoil management. So when talking about trigger control, there's a couple things we need to realize without even picking up a gun. Um, and first and foremost is our finger placement on the trigger. And I don't need a gun to show you this. Um, right there, it's our fingernail, okay? Uh, you don't wanna be inside the fingernail and you guys can see why it tends to pull over to the right as we're pulling our trigger. If we use our fingernail, it's a direct press of the trigger rearward. It's really nice. And if we have too little of our finger on the trigger, once we get into shooting quickly, what we're gonna find is there is a possibility that we actually slip off the trigger, which obviously is not a good thing. So as long as you guys can remember that that fingernail is kind of a that pivot point that we really wanna capture our trigger with, uh, you're gonna be in good shape. So I'll show you what this looks like, and then we'll talk about manipulating the trigger through a reset and things like that as well. Uh, first and foremost, I want to make sure you guys understand we are in a safe space. I am on Magnum's range. Um, there's nobody else in here today. And I have a center block wall here and a center block wall here. So, and I will clear out the pistol we're using today with you all. So here I have a clear and empty gun. So, and again, now you guys can see my finger placement. And a good rule of thumb, depending on the size of your hands, is I establish a really good firm pistol grip with my shooting hand, right? But look at the space that's being rendered between my trigger finger and the weapons platform, right? There's actually space there. If I'm here, I know I'm too deep, right? If I'm out here, I know I'm too deep. It's just this little marginal space that we're really after, all right? So now remember, I said a press of the trigger. We kind of got a rid of the phrase, pull the trigger. Um, we want to press the trigger rearward, okay? Um, now let's talk about your reset. So there's, there's two methods of madness here. The first is I go ahead and I place my shot, the gun cycles, and then I drive my sights back on target and I feel and listen for an audible reset, right? I'll feel the reset and then I can actually hear the reset of the firearm and then I know I'm ready to get into that next shot. This is fine and a lot of people still practice this today. Um, you just need to be proficient in it. The other method is simply I, Go ahead and fire, and during the cycle of operation, I'm already backed off the trigger, gun cycles, and I'm already back into the trigger. This is the method I use, but I shoot competition. This allows my splits to be cut down just a little bit more, and it does take practice. I used to shoot the other method where I was allowing the gun to reset after uh, the slide and everything was back into battery, and it worked well, but as I progressed and I started outrunning things, in particular firearms, what I found is that I had to come off the trigger uh, during the actual motion of the slide coming rearward to go ahead and get back into it just a little bit faster. So try both. Um, I will tell you, establish it early on because it is a hard habit to break once you start resetting here, okay? I actually struggled with this too. Now I'm doing it right now. What I should be doing is reset, press, reset, press, um, as that's the way I train. So keep this stuff in mind as you guys are working with your pistols at home. Another really fun at work or at home play you guys can do is start using those click pens, right? And as you're holding your pen throughout the day, practice that nice, easy trigger control on a pen. Um, I know it seems kind of quirky, but it does at least keeps your mind in that, that game uh, of pressing a trigger uh, constantly throughout the day. And you guys, that's it for today. But remember, as always, shoot straight, have fun, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you on the range.